the back rooms. You've been here before. Entity number 77. The Dreamweaver. Habitats. Non-applicable. Image caption. An artist's depiction of the Dreamweaver. Art created by Pandashark71004. Description. The Dreamweaver is a non-physical entity that you can discover while dreaming in the back rooms, or while finding the Dreamcatcher. This entity is an observer and does not engage in a hostile manner, although it can engage in your dreams in other ways through a number of passive abilities. This entity can do things such as alter your dream, give you dreams, or even cause hallucinations. The Dreamweaver could be extremely dangerous if it were to use its abilities for hostile activity. Behaviors The Dreamweaver rarely appears in dreams and seems to come in random intervals, but is more encouraged to appear when interacting with the Dreamcatcher. This is an object that will cause many effects to the human body, including an instantaneous sleep-like stasis that will cause you to dream and attract this entity. The Dreamweaver will be unnoticeable once in your dream, and will then manipulate your dreams in strange and challenging ways. Soon you will be able to spot the Dreamweaver in different areas of your dream wandering around and disappearing, all while staring at you. The Dreamweaver feeds on the fear of a wanderer, so actively weakens the dreamer's mental state to feed off their energy. For the user to be awoken, they'll need to escape the dream through strange means that are completely random, to running from a pack of wolves to simply eating a bowl of cereal, for example. The user will be asleep until the user escapes the entity in the dream, and successfully fought off the entity. In the event of the user escaping, the Dreamweaver will still lurk around the corners of your vision in reality for weeks. This entity can cause further hallucinations to the user and warp reality to the entity's will if needed, although this instance of reality manipulation via hallucinations is very rare. This entity will further wear down a victim's mental state from there, including increasing their hunger, thirst, and exhaustion, making it so that the victim will constantly need to eat, drink, and sleep. The Dreamweaver will have lasting effects for an amount of time that will usually be longer than multiple weeks. Biology The Dreamweaver is around 8 feet tall and has a skinny skeletal structure with black charcoal-like skin that looks as if the entity's entire body was burnt. The Dreamweaver has long appendages protruding from the top of its skull, flowing to the back of its head, similar to a jester hat. It has sharp claws with webbed hands and feet. Its feet have three toes with claws sprouting from them. The Dreamweaver's face is long and wide as it has a huge grinning smile. Its lips are crispy red as it seems to be flaking and peeling. The entity's teeth are enormous and sharp in a grinning style. Its eyes glow yellow and are similar to those of a lizard with eyelids over the top half of its eyes. The Dreamweaver, when close, makes a deep purring or growling noise at the user while grinning and smiling. The entity's body when walking is hunched over and walks in a slow manner. As it walks, it will stare at you through the corners of where it has appeared until eventually disappearing around a corner. The Dreamweaver has the ability to crawl and stick to any surface, but this entity is usually seen walking. Discovery the Dreamweaver was once a myth, as it was only able to appear in dreams. This all was changed when our own members started to slowly go insane, as they are describing that this creature haunts their dreams in mind. Soon after, Meg Regiment Quick Match Fireflies was sent out to aid a group of wanderers to terminate a hostile entity. During the mission, the team stumbled upon the Dreamcatcher and had fallen into a deep sleep-like stasis. The team was put under the aid of Meg Regiment Lifeline Mossy Medics to ensure the safety of their health. Fireflies are now normal and back on duty. This entity is still under investigation and testing, and we will update this entry once we have concluded our studies. Show Meg Entry Update 1. Interview Log 08-24-2020 
This interrogation log is about a MEG member of Team Volunteer Squad that wishes to stay anonymous and had an encounter with the Dreamweaver. A MEG officer has started the following log. Begin log, 1229. Interviewer, MEG Officer. Interviewee, Wanderer, MEG Officer. We would normally want you to state your name for the interview, but you want to remain anonymous and we respect that decision. Please elaborate on your experience. Wanderer. I... It was just a normal day for this place. I've been here for four years. I know what to expect here, but this... It was horrible. I couldn't escape for an entire two days of me asleep. Meg Officer. It is a pretty horrible situation. May you please elaborate on the following events. Wanderer. It was just... Me. At my old house. Back home. As I always dream about. But this was different. Nobody was there. It was just me. Alone. Or that was just how it felt. The Wanderer starts slowly shaking. Meg Officer. Please stay calm and continue the explanation. Wanderer. Right. I was walking around my house and I'd see open halls and stuff like that. I had a pretty big house as a kid. Me and my brother would just get lost in what felt like a maze in our own home. This reminded me of that. But I soon realized I wasn't alone. As I looked at the door to the right of me, to my parents' room, I see it open. I see... it. Meg Officer. Continue. Wanderer. It was there, looking at me with its large smile as it walked slowly across the doorframe until I couldn't see it. I panicked and ran. I thought I had to get out of there. Then, I noticed it was a dream, but I couldn't wake up. I was... Stuck. Meg Officer. Please explain what you mean by stuck. Wanderer. I couldn't get out of my dream and wake up. I was stuck in my dream. I went outside of the house and ran everywhere, but there was no life, clear as day, and no one in sight. I ran into buildings and more buildings, but every building was my house on the inside. I couldn't escape it. It was just so quiet. I found a local store I always hanged around when I was a kid with my friends. I went inside and saw no one there. The place always had a creepy storage basement in the building that always made creaky noises and stuff. Me and my friends would joke around about it, but we only went inside once. I was scared of it, but the owner of the store brought me down and showed me that there was nothing to be afraid of. But this was different. The door opened, slowly, creaking as it does. I went to look through the doorway. All I saw was the light above me, shining on the wooden stairway below me. The rest was darkness. Then, I hear movement down there. I couldn't move. I was there for what felt like minutes, frozen, until I saw a yellow glow of what looked like eyes. It was getting closer, closer, until I saw its hands stretch out from the darkness to grab onto the railing on the side of the wall. Its hand making a crispy, crunching noise as it grabbed the railing which it made a dent in with a metallic screech. Its face was so close to me, but I couldn't see it yet, until I got even closer. It was there, its face slowly revealing itself as the echoes of its slow purr filled my ears. As the light of the lamp above me shined on its horrifying face, staring at me, the creak of every step I took. I- I couldn't take it! Meg Officer. Please calm down. There is no need to panic here. We'll bring you some almond water if you need it. Wanderer. It was everywhere. I went in. Every corner I looked, I would see it. I haven't gotten sleep for weeks. I can see it when I close my eyes. It's in my face. It's everywhere. I look even right now. It's right behind you. Meg Officer. Please calm yourself. We are retrieving almond water for you at this very moment. Please be patient and... A muffled scream can be heard from the Meg Officer as he flipped over behind him and disappeared as the alarm was set off around Base Alpha via Meg Security. Meg Security. Alert. Meg Officer, name censored for privacy, has disappeared and was taken by a hostile entity. Please everyone be aware of your surroundings and report any strange events to the Meg Team Secure Security. Summary. The Wanderer was treated with almond water and had gotten back to normal health. The Meg sent out Team Quickmatch to search for the officer, and despite days of searching, the officer was never found. This entity has powers and abilities beyond what we had previously thought. More studies are to be taken. 
Other projects are put on hold until this entity can be fully investigated via Overseer C Command and Log 1237. Do's and don'ts. Do. Keep away from any dream catcher that is around you. Escape the dream you are in at any cost. If you escape the Dreamweaver, you must drink almond water and seek Meg assistance. Don't. Try to interact with the entity or try to provoke it.